Hi, this is Hugh Auerhand of HughesMac.com. In this session, we're going to add some text to a photograph using Pages, which is part of the iWork suite. So the first thing we do is open Pages, and then we select a blank document from the Page Layout area. Click on Blank, and then click on the blank. I'm going to click on the blank Canvas Landscape because I'm doing a landscape picture. If you were doing a portrait, then you would click on the other blank canvas. Now select Choose. Now, the next thing we do is click on Media at the top right hand side. And in the middle you should see Photos. Make sure it's blue, otherwise you would get Audio or Movies. And then look for the picture that you want to use. In my case I'm using the, the album called Boat Trip. You could also slide the blue slider along and click on events or photos. Find the picture that you want. That's the main thing. Slide along the pictures and, and look for the one you want. If you can't see all your pictures, maybe it's because this little see this little dot that I'm pointing at now. You can slide it along and see more of your list of photo albums or more pictures. In fact, all the way to the top if you like. And then click on the picture that you want. Once you have found your picture, click and hold and then drag it right to your document. Now let's close the media. And what we want to do now is expand this picture to take up as much of the document as possible because that will give you more pixels. A larger picture. Any white space left over, don't worry about that for now. We'll we'll fix that up when we when we get the picture into iPhoto. The next thing we want to do is click on text box. And the text box opens in the middle of the picture and then I'm going to copy and paste some text into it. You could also type as soon as you start to type the, the uh, text that is already there re is replaced by what you type. Now move your mouse and click anywhere else but inside the box. Now click in the box and you'll see that it's highlighted with uh, lines around it. And now we want to move this box by clicking and holding to the location that you want. Click and drag corners to move it. And we want to do a couple more things. We want to change the size of the print. So now I just click on the command and the plus and that will enlarge the print. You can make it smaller too if you like. You can also change. Oh, I, what I just did was change this size tighten it up and I don't care you can leave it like that if you like that's up to you okay then you can also change the fonts by clicking on fonts up in the corner make it a nice handwriting font for instance okay now you can change the color before I was going to close this box but first let's see you can change the color of the text by clicking on color here or you could have also clicked on colors up in the top right hand corner. But let's make this text white. Okay, let's close colors and fonts and then click somewhere else to close. You know what? Before I do that, let's change this size because the one word is missing. There we go. See, that happened because I changed the style of text so that took more space. Okay, we're ready with this. Now we click anywhere out of the text box so that the lines are gone. And we are ready to move this into iPhoto. To do that, a little tricky, click on print. No, we're not going to print. What we're going to do is click on PDF and click Save PDF to iPhoto. And actually it will save it as a JPEG to iPhoto. 
iPhoto will open up. Oh, you can't see it on your screen, but iPhoto already was bouncing. Now it opens up and it imports the picture. There we go. Now, what we want to do is edit this. So we'll click on the picture, make sure it's highlighted. Click Edit. Now click Crop. And what we'll do is take these lines in the corners and we'll just take out the white spots and click Apply. Click Done and you have your picture without any white spots. Now click on the picture again and take a look at the words. Notice that the words are rather small. You might decide to redo this and have larger words so make sure you have saved your pages document and don't delete it until you are totally satisfied with the results in iPhoto.